All right, here's an interesting little machine that I made. It's a solar uh, advertising waving device that I took the original solar panel off of and put a larger solar panel on it with a supercapacitor and then a resistor to make it drain real, real, real slow and a diode to keep it from draining at night. And that runs all the time. That runs 24-7 and I get enough light here where I live even on cloudy days to make this run uh, right here by the window all the time 24 7 and it's basically the same uh, machine that's in that right there and uh, this guy's barely moving right now but if you take that little solar panel out and you make it bigger or you make it real big and you have a storage device that doesn't wear out like a capacitor you end up with this and uh, this is not perpetual motion this is a non-stop running device that gathers energy from the external environment here's the circuit diagram and like I say uh, the way I pull this off is you use a solar panel that's too big for what it needs to have you put a diode so that it won't back feed at night you put a storage device, in this case it's a supercapacitor, that has enough capacity to hold the excess energy that's coming into this. More energy comes into the system during the day than the machine requires to be used. Then at night, it drains backwards through a 100K resistor at 10 microamps and continues to run all night long. And this, this is a non-stop running device and it is not a perpetual motion machine and that's uh, where people get hung up on this is not a self-running machine because I am putting energy into it right there now if I took this part off and this continued to run with these elements except for that this would be a self-running machine and that statement is accurate you're gonna break some basic law basic laws of thermodynamics with that but you don't break any laws by doing it this way this is an open-ended system and there's all kinds of them this is just an example and uh, if this wasn't enough you go to this you go bigger but at a certain point in time these amorphous solar cells because they work on ambient light will supply this with machine this little machine with more energy than it requires to run um, all the time and you'd probably have to dump off energy if it got too much through an LED or something. But anyway, this is, um, we're down into October 28, 2013. And this is um, an example of a machine that does not stop. It gathers in enough energy from an ambient source to run all the time.